to roll out the red carpet now for our favorite fashion expert, Carson Kressley, is back. You were glued to the tube. Like, yeah, a little party last night. I you? did. I had a Golden Globes party. Yeah. Who were some of your faves? Um, some of my faves, I thought, you know, uh, kind of, a, we have a classic kind of group mm. here. Sofia Vergara and Vera Wang and that kind of midnight blue. It was all about the shape, that mermaid shape is kind of her trademark. The fit was phenomenal. Angelina Jolie, a little daring in that ivory with that touch of red. But it matched worked. The clutch it worked. and the makeup. Really kind of old Hollywood glamour. And then Charlize always looks great, even with the headband. I was like, wait, the headband? Really? You, you weren't feeling the headband? It works. It looks so yeah. good. She's in Dior, and she was wearing that kind of that blushy kind of nude color. I heard a lot of people on Twitter, and just hit me on the count, right. saying that Nicole Kidman, and I thought, too, that she, she, she looked brought, beautiful. She brought it back again, she Nicole did. Kidman, and also uh, Viola Davis. Amazing. I thought those two. Yeah, Viola looks so great. Not seen she here. That Not kind of here. like. Um, rusty kind mm -hmm. of brown color with a big slit, and it was kind of sexy, but still really glamorous and really sophisticated. All, all the so way they around. were winners. There, there it is. Yes, yes. So what were the trends that you saw there? Well, the trend was kind of, uh, which we talked about in the piece a little bit, mm -hmm. was that kind of, a, there wasn't a lot of color. It was either a lot of women in black, and you can see Glenn Close and Mila Kunis, and you can see Salma Hayek. She brought her own Golden Globes. <laughs> um, she didn't even have to win one. She already had two. And, um, but very, you know, pared down, but very glamorous in the black. Uh -huh. And then the other trend were those nude kind of blushy tones that we had talked about with Charlize and um, and uh, I think we're going to see it in a second. But that, you know, very kind of soft. There we go. Right, we see um, it there. Mm -hmm. And Jessica Alba. Um, just really, really not a lot of color, but the fit and the detail made it so glamorous yeah. and so beautiful. Kate Beckinsale, just really, really you know, yeah. stunning. Yeah, Jessica, she just doesn't even try. Effortless. And it's effortless, and, and it looks so great. What's great about her, she doesn't have to do big giant mm -hmm. hair or a lot of makeup. It's just, it's easy because the dress is such a statement. She doesn't have to go overboard right. with those, you know, accessories in the hair and makeup. Did you see anybody take any risks out there? I thought there were some risk takers. Mm -hmm. and we have on the graphic here, Claire Danes and Jay Mendel. This looked so much better when you saw it on the show because when she went up to get her award, it was all jeweled in the back. It, it was, was very graphic. It looked modern. Zoe Deschanel and Prada, also very, very modern. I loved her hair and makeup probably more than I loved her look. And then Leah Michelle, kind of channeling mm -hmm. vintage Cher. Mm -hmm. If I could turn back time. <laughs> um, but really, really glamorous yeah. in that kind of nude um, kind of sheath. I think that was by Marquesa. Eddie's always your laugh track. You know Eddie that? loves me. <laughs> I love Eddie. We're gonna, I'm going to give you this jacket, Eddie. Okay. Thanks Eddie for the laughs. Eddie loves Octavia Spencer. She really looked fantastic yeah, last and, night. Yeah, and she had a great story. Obviously, mm -hmm. she, she won for Best Supporting Actress in The Help, and she just, she was, you know, she's not a size two or a size zero like a lot of these girls, but she really owned this look. It was that beautiful orchid color, and she really dressed those curves and the ruching, and it all worked, and she looked glamorous and beautiful, Didn't and it was she? her night. And I was so excited uh -huh. for her. I loved her speech. Referring it was to fantastic. Yeah, okay, give us some hot men now. Some hot men? I thought you'd never ask, I'm sorry, Robin. I was, a little, I, was, I was afraid to go I there. I was like, <laughs> yeah. um, the big trend for the guys was um, everyone was rocking the facial hair. What's Bradley Cooper, Seth Rogen, Gerard Butler, um, Jake Gyllenhaal. And my favorite, Leonardo DiCaprio. And he had a little, he had like a little goatee thing going on. Mm -hmm. So he didn't have the full-on beard, but... He looked great. He's never looked better. Okay. And then finally, uh, a lot of people got it right. The, the few missteps, you thought? You know, these are kind of the looks that I just, you know, I've seen them look better. Sarah Michelle Geller, she's doing Buffy the Tie-Dye Slayer. Um, <laughs> it just, it looked a little daytime for me. Okay. It looked a little daytime. Michelle Williams, oh, so fantastic in her movie, uh, My Week with Marilyn. Unbelievable. Nice. Normally, yeah. always right on. Uh -huh. I didn't love this one, but she's so gorgeous, so talented. Go see her movie. It's Absolutely. phenomenal. And then Kristen Wiig, I just thought the color was tough for her because it can kind of um, wash you out. If you've got the dark hair and you wear that kind of nude mm. color, it's a little bit tough. But again, fantastic movie. Bridesmaids loved it. <laughs> All of that. Love the sparkly shoes. Thank you. That's so some shiny. glitter left over from New Year's <laughs> Eve from Good Morning America. Well, I can't you. get it off. You just work so hard for us, Carson. Well, I try. Thank you. And you succeed. Check out all the Golden Globe fashions, hits, and not so much at GoodMorningAmerica.com on Yahoo.